Welcome to Frontier, where we have inherited this small oil rig behind me. We are beginning with just $50,000 in hopes to someday be the proud owner of this. This large-scale oil operation from the town's oil tycoon. Our goal is to own all of it. So let's get started. Right now, all we own is this small rig here that's producing the crude oil, pumping it out of the ground. And then we can actually run it down here to this other piece of equipment we have to be able to turn it into diesel or motor oil and different other byproducts. So our main thing is right now the highest price is diesel, so that is what we're going to make. We are starting with only $50,000, so we don't have much money in the bank to really do much more. But we do have to buy these empty oil barrels to be able to bottle it up to be able to take to our production plant down there. One thing we do have is this old old pickup and this Deutz tractor. The city has said we can go around after the last dust storm we had and clean up all the sand that blew around. So that is what we're going to currently do to try to make some money. We're going to take it up to the brick factory and hopefully be able to turn it into bricks and make some money there as well. So let's get some sand picked up. All the land that we own is in just this piece of land right here, this field 66. We own all of that, and as you can tell, we don't have too much on it yet, so we do have plenty of room for expansion. So let me get some sand cleaned up. We're going to start by cleaning up the sand around our place, so we have room to get in and out. Right now, driving our pickup through, it's getting close to getting stuck every time. I don't want that. So this outfit here should be able to pick it all up. I do like, looks like it's going in. I do like how it gets a pretty wide path too. Just a little Deutz tractor. I think it's only 90 horsepower, so we don't have much, but that is, you know, what we inherited, so that's what we're going to use. So let me get some of this picked up and see you in just a moment. Well, we got the first load done. Now we can run it and turn it into bricks at the brick factory. Right now we don't own the brick factory, so hopefully we can get enough money out of sand that we can later on buy it. As you see, there's something traveling in the air next to us. I'm not sure what that is. But it is stuck on the screen, and anytime I move the camera, it stays in the same place. So maybe later on it'll go away, or we'll figure out what it is. But let me get to the brick factory. There's a close-up view of it. It looks like it is the three-point arm on this tractor. Oh well, a little bit of a mess up there, but let's continue. Uh, got stuck in the crossing. Hey, at least I'm not on the track stuck. There. Alright. Now we're free. Frontier is the town that we live in, and it's a actually very bad place to live. The government controls everything you do. They set the price of every product there is out there and about the only thing I can do is try to produce oil to make them happy so that they leave me alone and since I'm the small guy around and you got the big oil tycoon that owns all the big wells they don't care for me too much but I, I try to make buy with just the little bit we have so that is what we're doing thankfully they are letting us have all the sand so we can make a little bit extra to hopefully increase our operation very soon because our little oil well isn't producing near as much as the, the city wants us to do. I believe this is the place. See if it lets me unload it here. Not this one. Let's try to get through this. Should have brought our pickup machine here. Maybe clean some of this up. Made a little extra. So around here it lets me sell it. This says loading zone, so this doesn't sound promising. Let me turn around and get back to the other side. Well, I turned on the zone markers and it looks like it's farther over here, closer to the skid steer. So hopefully this will work. There, good. See how much money it'll bring us. Well, it made 14675 and that's as much as it took. So I'm guessing it is full. And I believe you have to have 100000 to be able to buy it. So that's not good. 
see our three point is still over there, falling around, flying. Yeah, this one shows a drop point too, but it won't take it here. Let me make sure this is 100,000. Yes, it is 100,000, so it will take us a little while to make enough for that. We'll try to find another place where we can sell this, this sand off at. Well, it is telling me the Northern Railroad takes the sand also. But unfortunately, I think I have to rent the train and try to get it all up there. And when you figure in all the conveyor belts I have to buy to try to load the train, I think my better deal would be to see if I can get the city to lend me the money at probably super high interest rate to be able to buy this factory. Let me do that first. Looks like the city will lend me 285000 I don't need that much. I only need about 50000 So we're going to try to take out a $50,000 loan with a period of mm, 10 years. And we're only paying, actually only 9,000 interest. That's really not too bad. I guess the, the city trusts me and they, they want the diesel I'm going to provide them. So here, now that we've done that, we'll go up here and we will buy this. Here we are. Now we own the brick factory. Which I can turn it on too while I'm here. See what else it needs. It needs water, cement, and pallets. I guess I still can't sell any more sand because it's still full. But I do need to try to get some water and cement and also pallets here. See if I can buy those. Well, after buying our cement and buying our pallets, since we don't have any productions to make those, the only thing I could afford is this little bitty water tank. So that's what I bought. I'm going to have to probably try to buy and build a sell-all station so I could actually sell my sand without having to take it all to the brick factory, especially since the brick factory can only take so much of it at a time. Let me run this water down and hopefully that'll be able to produce at least some bricks that we could sell. Here we go, getting some water in there, so now we should be able to start producing bricks. Not sure how many it creates, let's see, 120 cycles, Ooh, not very many, so we're not going to get rich on this anytime soon. We're also not going to use a whole lot of sand either. We're going to have to probably buy more cement in the near future. And then water will be easy to come by. We'll just keep bringing it. So let me get back and try to find a place to sell this sand. Now we have a sell-all station that we can sell our, our sand in. First, I'm going to fill it back up to see what a full load's worth. We pretty well drained all the money we had in our, our bank account. So hopefully we can replenish it before this episode's over. The city manager actually gave us another access point to be able to get to our brick factory. The only thing is, we have to clean it out first. That was a whoops, sorry. We're we'll gonna have to pay for that sign, I'm sure. So that'll really help us. We we'll want to drive clear through this checkpoint every time. We have access to the gate now. So that's the way we'll go in from now on, as soon as I get it cleaned out. But I'm gonna clean our property off first. I think one thing we need is a bigger tractor. It doesn't have any power. I went with the smaller wagon thinking, well, maybe this will be big enough. Let's take off that, see if that'll help us get through it. Maybe that's holding us up some. Just a little bit more. There, I think we're gonna make it. I think. There, good. See if we can make enough to start getting money in the bank again. This sell all station actually had a better price than the other places, also. And we don't have far to go since it's on our property. Yes, 22,676. A few of those will definitely get us a jump start on this. Get some of our bills paid and maybe even get a bigger tractor if one ever goes on sale. Let me get a few more loads and then we'll get over and clear out that new gate they're going to let us use. Well, we made a little bit of extra money. I have upgraded the tractor. We did sell the old tractor. Got a more modern Deutz tractor that has more power to be able to pull this equipment. And we also increased the size of our trailer. So now we can hold, I believe it's a quarter of a million liters. Now we're going to go work on cleaning out the, the shortcut path to the brick factory. So let me get down there. 
here is the back way out. So this is the way the city manager said we could use. So that's how we're going to clean up. It's not too bad through here. Not sure if it gets worse up ahead or not. Yeah, it looks like this is where it gets really bad. I knew he said it was impassable right now if we didn't clean it up first. And he is right. A lot here to get through. Let's see if I can lower this thing down. There's going to be quite a bit to get through here. Not sure if we're going to get to the railroad tracks or not. Keep working this and get this sold off. Well, we got that close to getting clear through. I'll just try to get this thing turned around without getting it too stuck, and then we'll go sell it. There, I think we're going to make it. Try to keep the tractor from going in the sand too much. There we are. I told you it held a quarter of a million liters. I was wrong. It actually only holds 200,000 liters. So not quite as much, but still an extra 50,000 more liters than we were hauling with their wagon. Well, now we get 30,000 for delivery. It's a little bit better. Let me get the rest of that road cleared out so we can keep using it to the back way. Let's see if the keep card they gave us works. It does. Oh, that's going to be a lot nicer. We're right on the edge of the brick factory. Nice. All right, well, let me get some more of this cleared out, and hopefully we can uh, get up and down this road safely. Looks like we need to add another one of these empty barrels. To keep producing some of this. Some more crude oil. Well, I think that'll do it for this episode here on uh, Frontier. If you like this episode, be sure to slap that like button for us. And if you haven't already, we would love to have you as a subscriber. Until next time, have a blessed day, and bye bye